Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As promised in my previous video, this one will focus on how to create 2D animated looking water. Now, most of this will actually be made in 3D, in Cinema 4D, but the end result we're after looks kind of 2D and looks something like this. All right, let's dive in. So we are in Cinema 4D and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new plane. I will scale this up a bit like so. And then I'm going to increase the subdivisions to a high number. Let's put them on 400 times 400. Now let's set a keyframe on the first frame of the animation and then move to the middle of the timeline. Here I will move my plane on the Z axis a bit and add another keyframe. Then I will move to the last frame and copy my first keyframe over so that it loops back to the first position. The next thing I will do is to drop a displacer on my plane. We've made the motion of the wave, but the wave is not a flat line, so I will need to change that. Within the shader tab on the displacer, I can set it to noise. Now let's increase the global scale in the noise setting. Let's set it to a really high number as I want this displacement to be really smooth. Then I will change the height of the displacer to get more contrast in the noise. But the trick is to change the direction setting from vertex normal to planar. And I will set the orientation to Z+. As you can see, now we have a more organic shape to our plane. I don't want this displacement to be static. So under the shader noise setting, I can also animate the animation speed of the noise. I set a keyframe at the start of the animation, and then when the wave hits its most extreme position in the middle of the timeline, I will set the animation speed to zero. And then bring it back up as the wave retracts. So let's make a camera and set up our framing. I set my resolution of this scene to be 1920 1080 and then I find my angle. Changing the layout mode to animation, I will adjust my position keyframe slightly for the plane. By making a bit more of an extreme S-curve, the wave will move in faster, slow down, hold for a little bit longer before it's then being pulled out again faster. I think that just adds a bit more character to it. Now for the next part, I'm using a plugin called Hot4D. This is an amazing plugin I really recommend you get. It's free and made by this developer Valkari. I will add a link to that in the descriptions. Now just like the displacer, I will drop this onto the plane and look at that, we got an ocean going on. This has a lot of settings you can play around with. I will start by animating the time from 0 to 30. Then I will change some of these settings. I will increase their resolution a bit change the wind speed to something higher so the waves are a bit larger. Then I will change the direction of the wind so it matches up with the movement of my plane. You can play around with these settings as much as you want, like till you get something you like, or you can also copy what I have here. I also changed the wave height and the choppiness. They both sort of control the aggressiveness of the wave and how sharp the ridge is.
Here you can see it moving, and together with the planar displacer, I think it has a really nice behavior around the edges of the plane. Now I will create a material for this. I will only have luminance ticked, which will give us a flat color. I'm gonna go with this blue. Then I will duplicate this material and set the color to a brighter blue. I will drop on the dark blue material to my plane. And then I will duplicate the whole system and add the bright blue to that. This will act as the foam on top of the waves. And to make that I will first expand the width of the plane, so we get the line of foam on the edge of the plane. I will also change the height of my displacer. And finally change the wave height and choppiness of the HOT 4D plugin. There you go, that is now my 2D looking water. I render that as a PNG sequence with alpha enabled, and then we bring that into After Effects. So after importing my image sequence into After Effects, I want to loop it. This I can do by making my composition twice the length of my sequence, duplicating the sequence and then time reversing it. Going up now in my composition hierarchy, I put that looping animation into a new composition. Here I first did a bit of adjustment to the colors. I then duplicated that layer and scaled it up and offset it its position. I dropped that altered layer underneath the other copy and add a fill effect to it. I set that to the same color as the foam on the wave. I then drop the opacity down and then offset the timings of it. The last thing I do here is to fade it out at the end to make sure that the clip still loops. As you can see I've already prepared these, so going up another step in my hierarchy, I have done the final composite of all my elements. At the bottom here we got a plain sand painting I did in Photoshop. Then we have the wave animation we just looked at. I then used that animation to create the wet sand that fades in and out as the water goes back and forth. It was basically a freeze frame of the most extreme point where the wave reaches to and then I added a black fill to it and dropped down the opacity. I also added a few distortions to make it warp a little bit after the wave leaves the sand. Finally I tied the image together with some color correction and noise. And again here's the final version. Right, let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. Like and subscribe and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.